Well, she's another cold Alberta day. We just came out of a minus 30 some stretch. Ah, oh, seat belt, eh? And uh, she's warming up here now to uh, minus five right now and the fog's setting in, which is not so good for us solar people. But what I really want to talk about today is generators, batteries and stuff. You know, when you sit your generator outside in some poor little shack that's not heated and it's just so complicated to, you know, get that baby going when it's cold. And I've came across one client, one customer, and I really know nothing about it, but it sure looks cool. And he took and got this uh, heating pad, okay? It's a heating pad that you put around your car battery, right? And they come, well, they're about 36 inches long. This is fantastic. It's got a cord end on it, and they're 80 watts. So you can take that and plug it into your uh, inverter, put it on a timer, you know, for two hours or something or other, wrap that underneath the engine is what he did. I've never done it yet. Seems like a great idea. And then his uh, generator will start up. And he also has one on his batteries for his off-grid system. And the batteries, uh, that blanket that's for his batteries, he has it hooked up, plugged into the generator. So if the generator runs, it heats the batteries. So it's not, you know, running off the solar or running off the inverter. And then, of course, his batteries are insulated and stuff. But it seems like a great idea. Anyways, that's my, uh, my uh, couple cents for today. I'm just going to uh, play with a generator that's frozen in a little shack. And we'll try out the new blanket. Take care. I know.